back to the channel. Um, so as you can see, we're fishing again today. Um, after a recent success on that one fish I had, fancy another go. So um, we're back to the same venue, just a couple of pegs further down. Um, now it's not ideal this morning. It's bright and sunny, which isn't ideal. I'm, I'm here early, sort of just about missed first light. I think it's not too bad, it's still early. So um, yeah, watch your space, I'll come back to you. Right, this is the peg for the day, or certainly for the morning. Um, as you can see, it's a mess at the minute. I haven't got set up fully. I've got one rod set up down this side, in this margin. Um, I've popped up a smelt on that one. Um, drop back alarm, the alarm open. Bite alarm is on and waiting. I've been quiet because it's a bright day. So, um, and the water's fairly clear. So we are, I mean, it, it's, it's a lovely day to be out. Whether it's a lovely day for pike fishing or successful day, um, we'll have to find out. Um, so, my golden rule, always, before I even put that out, we have the net, um, which is there, bent up against that tree, so that's ready. Tools are out wasteling scales and um, on hooking mat um, so it was a bit of a fun time getting down this this peg as we had a lot of rain over the last few weeks as most of the country has and i'm having to wade through you know this this pretty deep pond you can see this this is underwater here um this peg is well, it's really unusable and that path that leads up to the car park is underwater that's um shin deep now up to my shins not just my ankles so that was fun so yeah um i'm just going to get that other rod out thinking of a float on that second rod um put a, i've got a roach so i'm going to float fish a roach as you can see there's a bit of a ripple on uh wind's blowing towards me so I'll have to get it out into open water and drift it back towards me. Let the wind just drift it towards me. Uh, this lake's full of features, so um, it could pick up, pick up a, um, a, a deep hole or a, anything. There's all sorts. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see how we get on, eh? Let's see how we get on. And then we'll do some cooking later as well. So I'll put some up, get the ridge monkey on the go a bit later on. Um, some more simple cooking. So I'll look forward to that. Right. I just thought I'd show you through how I set things up. Um, so this is the float rig I'm going to show you. I've got a stop bead on there, which you can you can just move it wherever you want, up and down the depth. And then running down, I've got a I've got a bead there, sliding bead, and a and a pencil float that can just it, that'll cock so it's a cocking float and then we have a rubber stop bead here a quick release um, there's many different types of these but it's a quick release swivel um, which means I can just rotate that round and then you can part the end rig the, the trace from the main line so if I put that on, they're a bit fiddly when your hands are cold, but for God's sake. Um, now I don't know the weights of these lines, so I can't really tell you, but they're around the £40 mark. So this is a coated, um, stranded, um, seven strand wire. I always put these these covers on, just tidy things up. Uh, and then on this end, I've got a two sets of trebles, semi-barbed, a couple of bait flags on there, and a bandit, because that's going to hang in the water, up in the water levels, something like that, from Tyser Pike. So it's banded on. So we get that out. I use, um, I use these Shimano, um, no, then what are they? 
DL6000 RBs um, bait runners. I've used these when I used to carp fish as well. That's cocked. Cocks nicely, is that? So I've got this rod set up. I haven't put the um, I haven't put the drop back alarm on this one. Everything's set up as if I so that I can just quickly change to a ledger rig if I want. Or I may pay to nost or something today. Depends how this wind bothers the, the rig to float. So I don't know whether you'll see that. I'll try and zoom in on the edit. But we're out there maybe, I don't know, five or six rod lengths. Um, still nothing on this one. So I think just to entertain myself I might just tidy up the peg because it's still it's a bomb site. That will sort that out. Right, here we go. I'll sit back and relax and hope for some of the pike to get hungry. for the serious business of cooking us some lunch so what have we got here um, we have got was a lemon and herb chicken schnitzel and we have got some um, no they're not carrots I'm not that healthy today um, they are sweet potato fries. Oh dear, that one seems to be snagged, so I'm going to go and sort that out. That nah, wasn't too bad, that snag. Only a small snag. Um, everything was intact, so I've recast that one. Switched the other one. Just brought in maybe a few inches, maybe six, seven inches. Right, I'm going to start packing up. It's nothing happening, as you can see. It's too bright. Nothing. Not even a nudge, a liner, nothing. Tried everything I can, so... Um, I think what I'm going to do is pack this stuff up and I have actually got my jigging gear with me so I'm going to have a go with the jig Feel, throw a few soft lures and what have you out see if that helps I'll give it an hour or so um, but otherwise it's a blank 
it happens, but um, anyway, it's been a good day out, I've enjoyed the day out, it's not cold today which makes it change, the biggest change around here at the minute, it's not raining so um, Got one on a lure, only a small one. It's been resting in this net, but here it is. I'll see if I can get a shot of it on the mat. It's only little. Took a small lure, which I'll show you in a sec. There we go. I mean, it's literally tiny, but perfectly formed, as they always are. end of that session um, transferred over onto the uh, onto the little jigging rod uh, used some little rubber jet jigs and shads and that kind of stuff managed to save that blank which is great news um, it was a fish of about pound and a half two pound I didn't measure or weigh it um, it was basically I went around both ponds that I was fishing today and um, went around every peg had a few casts in each peg had a couple of hits but nothing to connect with and that was the last peg for me to try um, so yeah um, save the blank it's always good next time hopefully we'll go do some more dead baiting and catch um, something a little bigger hopefully um, so thanks for watching everybody and um, we'll see you soon